today's video is about manufactured homes where you own your own land, no HOA. I'm gonna drive you around a manufactured home community as the locals refer to it as the avenues. They, they refer to it as the avenues because all the streets when you come in, this rather large community too, by the way, they're Avenue A, Avenue B, Avenue C. Those are the ones that run east to west. And then the side streets are named something different. Any, that's really not relevant. But if you ever hear of someone saying the avenues in Ormond Beach, this is the park they're referring to. It's not gated. No HOA, like I said, and you own the land, which makes it absolutely wonderful. There's even, I think right now, I know one just closed, vacant land where someone had removed a manufactured home from it, left the garage, and you had all the hookups there. All you had to do was bring a new one in, and now you have a new updated one. You can put fences around, you can store your RV, your boat behind your fence. As I drive around, you'll probably see some of that. Another huge, huge thing, not only is this very affordable to have a full-time resident, uh, you can have an investment property here in Ormond, or your, maybe your vacation home where you just like to come in, instead of paying those crazy hotel fees during bike week, you have your own place here, right? During race week, whatever your thing is. But this is a great area for that. Again, because it's crazy affordable and it's Ormond and it's located. There's a little convenience store right up the street. Ormond has some of the best schools. I sent my children to the schools in Ormond. The river's about 10 minutes away. The ocean then is about 15 minutes away. Uh, 95 I-4 is a few minutes away. Let's see, the library's a stone throw away. Garana, where the main strip in Ormond is, where you got tons of restaurants, entertainment, super close as well, like very, very close. Also, Ormond is known for tons of wonderful events. They have a downtown committee called Ormond Main Street, where they're always hosting wonderful events right there on the river, like art festivals, the Celtic Festival, uh, barbecue cook-offs, movie night for free. They have so much to do. That's why I think a big part of why Ormond is absolutely a wonderful little town here, a little city to call home. Great place to visit and vacation as well. So without further ado, let me drive you around the avenues. Let's go.
dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling it's the only thing that saves me mm -mm. hey i don't know if i told you that i think you're beautiful and how oh, i can't wait to hold you yeah you pull me up when i'm falling down and i don't know what i would do without you yeah you pull me up when i'm falling down This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise What did you think about the avenues? Like I said, it's a great little community where you own the land. You don't have to worry about that lot rent and going up in prices and stuff. Most of the deals too, when you do go to buy one of these properties, they're probably going to be cash offers. It's just because it's a little trickier getting a loan on manufactured homes. I have sold one in here. It was a double wide. It was about three, year, three four years ago. We were able to get a loan. So depending on the property, some can do financing, but usually cash is preferred in most of these uh, manufactured homes. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a call. And if you're thinking of moving or relocating to the greater Daytona Beach area, including Ormond Beach, give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email, just know I got your back. We're moving to beautiful central Florida. Till next time.